Um, it's my pleasure to welcome um, Jim Vopel. Um, I'm going to warn you and, and tell you this introduction may be a, a little bit long. Um, it's impossible to do justice to Dr. Vopel's career um, in a short span of time. Um, he's the founding director of the Max Planck Institute and currently is on faculty at Duke University and um, the University of South Denmark. Um, he received his PhD in public policy at the Kennedy School of Government in Harvard. Um, he's widely recognized as probably the world's leading authority um, on longevity and um, does cutting edge work on issues of longevity and mortality. Um, since his earliest days, he's combined insights from biology, from genetics, um, to better inform both public policy and demography. Um, this is particularly interesting to me because I increasingly wander around hearing people talk about how exciting it is that, that we're increasingly um, integrating issues from the hard sciences and the social sciences, where Jim's been doing this for at least 20 years, um, if not longer than that, and has been doing so um, at a cutting edge level. Um, one of my favorite pieces that he wrote um, studied um, death rates or comparative death rates with human beings See if I get this right. Human beings, fruit flies, other types of flies, yeast, wasps, and automobiles. Worms. I left out worms. Um, which to me is absolutely fascinating that someone would think um, not only about combining those different things, but to add automobiles um, to think about longevity. But that's just kind of a, a sample of the cutting edge way in which he thinks about such issues. Um, by my count, he's published almost 250 articles, books, and chapters. Um, he's published in all of the top venues. Um, I could go on and on um, several times in Science, Nature, PLOS One, uh, Population Development Review, Demography, um, all of the major biomedical science journals. Um, he's received numerous accolades, um, the most recent of which, which I'll just highlight, is he won the Latsitz Prize from the European Science Foundation for Outstanding Contributions to Demography. Um, he's a very provocative scholar for um, almost two decades. He's been championing the idea that um, as far as we can tell, there are not any natural limits to longevity in human populations. And the interesting thing about this argument is that he will never be proven right because there's no end point to his argument. Um, but at least two decades in, he has not been proven wrong. So I'd like you to join me in welcoming Dr. Jim Bopel. <laughs> 